guys, Chris Moody here. Welcome back to Strangle School. Today we're going to be talking about do's and don'ts for pregnancy and BJJ. Number one, don't practice chokes at 100%. What I mean by that, go ahead. You can absolutely practice chokes, but you don't want to let them get it all the way in or you have to tap. So what your partner's going to do is they're going to get it in so that they can practice. You see, I'm still able to talk. He doesn't have it tight. He's not like wrenching down on me. You just want them to be able to practice their form and actually like getting through the motions. And then they're just gonna go ahead and let go and go to the other side. Then let go, go to the other side. Awesome. Number two. Knee shields. This is more for your partner. When you're rolling with somebody who's pregnant, you want to be careful to not throw up that knee shield right in their belly. Doesn't feel good, huh? Yeah, imagine if there was a baby here instead of here. That's not nice. Don't do that. Number three, knee on belly. So for the same reasons we're not going to throw out that knee shield, we're not going to sit here and knee on belly with a pregnant woman. I'm not going to put my knee in this pregnant woman's belly, right? Nah, probably not. I like my guts and I like her to have hers. <laughs> Number four, don't play from your back. So this is going to suck for a lot of my guard players, but especially later in your pregnancy, that second and third trimester, you don't want to lay on your back for the same reason that you don't want to play guard. When you lay on your back, you're putting all of your weight on that vena cava, that main vein that puts blood from your lower body back to your heart. So when I'm playing in my guard, All of my weight is down on this beta cava. So I don't want to do that. So the second that somebody puts me on my back, I'm going to work on standing up. Number five, don't roll with just anyone. Talk to your coaches. They'll know who is a good role, who's a bad role. They'll understand that some people, especially like newer people to the sport, might not have that control, that understanding that they need to be able to roll with you. Number six, work on your top game. As I said earlier, you shouldn't be playing from your back, especially later in your pregnancy. So every time you get put on your back, work on standing up and work on staying on top as much as you can. Number seven, be vocal. Your partners and your coaches don't know that you're pregnant unless you tell them, especially early on. So as much as we've talked about safety and other things in this video, nobody's gonna be able to implement these things unless you tell them about it. Number eight, talk with your doctor and your coaches about your general safety when you're pregnant. Just like you would talk to your doctor or coaches about your safety in any other situation, you want to let them know that this is a general concern of yours and that you want to do everything that you can to make sure that you and this baby are safe. Number nine, keep going. As long as your body feels good, get out there. Don't let anyone tell you that just because you're pregnant, you have to stop doing what you love. And finally, Number 10, listen to your body. Pregnancy is gonna be different for every single person. You're gonna have days where you're not gonna be able to train, or you're tired, or you're sick, or whatever it may be. Just listen to your body, and when you need to rest, go ahead and take that rest. Don't stop showing up, though. Do technique, do the warm-ups, do the stuff that you can do, but take some time off of rolling whenever you need to. Thanks for watching, guys. Like always, make sure you comment, share, and subscribe.